Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Red Squirrel Farm and Stardew Valley. It is a beautiful rainy summer day. Hello, Squire Julian. Let's check our weather report. Welcome to KSU 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Statistically speaking, that is entirely expected. All right, and our fortune for today. The spirits are in good humor. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Beautiful. Let's go test that out. Well, looks like we have some crops ready to harvest. That is good luck. Greetings, Song Breeze. It is our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up-and-coming column of the Stardew Valley Tribune. Congratulations. We're impressed with your quick progress. SVT. Well, that's fun. Dear Song Breeze, here's a recipe from my saloon. I only share this with my good friends, Gus. New cooking recipe, salmon dinner. Ooh, excellent. Song Breeze, I made you a little treat this morning in the saloon. Dig in, your friend Gus. Oh, he made me pancakes! <gasps> Gus, that is so cool of you! Uh, I'm not going to eat them at the moment, because I have nearly full energy, but... I must have gotten to bed a little too late. I didn't quite get back up to full energy here. Here are all of our beautiful uh, some, uh, summer spangles, or star spangles, or something like that. And our first crop of sunflowers, which ha, ha, appear to have resulted in enough seeds to replant all four of them. Isn't that glorious? All right, let's go ahead and harvest our summer spangles. Oops, nope, we can't. We're running out of space here. Let's put the non-starred sunflowers and let's see, we have a non-starred Summer Spangle there that we can drop in here. I'm actually going to there we go. also leave off unstarred wheat, the regular peppers, and the extra sunflower seed and the hay. Everything else, except for the things that are going to the community center, can go in the sandbox. I'll do two trips to the box today just in order to make sure I can get all the last of these summer spangles picked up. There we go. And we did get a couple more non-starred ones, which is lovely, because I believe Carolyn likes these? Alright. Hey, Robin. Sorry to make you work in the rain. I was missing some, um, missing some possible weeds and or trees or what have you. So I do not have my axe. Cannot cut those at the moment. I do have my pickaxe and I just need a stone there that we could get rid of. And actually, I haven't tried. Uh, no. So you need at least up to iron. Hopefully not any higher than that. Uh, hopefully the next level on my pickaxe will be sufficient to break those large stones. I believe copper is enough to break the large stone in the... Oops. I don't want to fish. I want my hoe. Um, I believe copper is, large, is enough to break the stone off to the right in the mine. I just uh, didn't have time for it last night, so I skipped it. But we'll try that sometime soon. Just doing a quick check for seeds. Tree seeds. Nope. We are very low on maple seeds. Maybe I'll see about, uh... Oh, look at this! Our first mushroom harvest! So, we got some common mushrooms, a morel, and a red mushroom. Now, I believe... Yep, red mushroom can also go to the community center. We've already taken the morel. Although I thought it had two spots. Didn't it also go here? Oh, no, that's a truffle. <laughs> oh! And here's a poppy! Oh, and the, uh, whatchamacallit? The, uh, maple syrup. Okay. These two were either gonna just have to get lucky, or, um, buy from the merchant south of town, or, possibly, uh, get as a gift from someone, or purchase from the saloon. 
But sooner or later, we'll uh, save up a little bit of money. A lot of bit of money, to be honest, and a good deal of wood. And we will get ourselves settled with a... set up with a kitchen. Kitchen upgrade. Always desirable. To upgrade the kitchen. Oh, see, we've already got a morale there. Alright, these can all go... is this? Oh, that's also apparently... You know what that is? Uh, the common mushrooms show up in the fall forage... Uh, fall forage bundle, I believe. There it is. Okay. Uh, we may hang on to a few of the common mushrooms for now. We're running low on space here. We may have to do another bin sometime soon. But we did get asked for a cave carrot for Harvey. He just needs one. Um, and uh, that should end that. So we do want, though, some seeds to fill in our space here. We've got some wild seeds and some wheat. Okay. Everything replanted. Yes! We are down to 12 seeds now, if you include our spare sunflower seed uh, for summer. So Now what we haven't done is actually crafted some of our summer seeds because we do have the ability to with us with one each of each of the uh, summer forage we can craft 10 wild seeds and we do have some spice berries we've used or given away most of our grapes uh, so we would have to find some grapes and we do have a few sweet peas so that is a possibility for now though we are going to sure we've got a good deal of bait in our rod overall. We do 100. Wow. I wonder if I lost some bait. We've got a bunch of stuff to take to the community center and a little bit of a field snack pile with us just to see, just to help out if we uh, run out of energy somehow. Oh. Speaking of eating grapes, there they are. So with just that one, I now have enough to make 10 summer seeds, so we could stash away a few of those. Let's see what we've got. So tomorrow is Maru's birthday. We are going to need to remember that. Now, Maru is an inventor, and occasionally we find things she really likes. I also feel like I have this vague memory that she might love strawberries. And I did keep a couple back from spring. So maybe we will bring her a strawberry. Oh, I'm trying to get that. An invasive crab species is living in the local mine, threatening the native wildlife. These creatures are known for disguising themselves as stones. I'll pay someone to slay four of them. Let's give it a shot. We've got plenty of energy and time today. Hey, Elliot. Sometimes when I lay in bed, I can hear a distant foghorn cut through the rain. But when I look out the window, I see only a curtain of gray. Very poetic, my dear. Oh, Harvey. That's who I'm looking for. It's Tuesday at about 11.30. So let's see if we can... Oh, there he is. Monsieur le docteur. Feel free to stop by my office if you're ever feeling ill. Hey, is that the cave carrot I requested? Thanks so much. Here's a little something for your trouble. Thank you. You're young, though. You'll probably stay healthy without trying. <laughs> not necessarily the case. Hey, Elliot. Again. Hello there. What brings you to this terrible place? It's not terrible. <laughs> Take it he's not a fan of the doctor's office. <laughs> oh, it's fine, Elliot. It won't hurt you. Oh, hey, Sebastian. I bet we're headed the same direction. If you're lucky, you might see a frog in this weather. Well, maybe I will be lucky. But I am not going to go fishing as much as I really, really, really want to. I am going to just quickly check for some forage and possibly simply sell it off to Willy if he's around. Two gold star oysters and two gold star mussels and just one quick swoosh across the beach. And two gold star urchins, sea urchins, which are super valuable. That's excellent. A regular coral, 
Three more regular coral. Hello, sir. Old Mariner, I've got this old amulet to sell. But something tells me you're not ready for it, miss. I want him to talk like a pirate. Something tells me you're not ready for it, miss. Oh, I forgot. I did delivery for Harvey. So I get the 75. Okay. So... Oh, wiggly worms, wiggly worms. Little stems, I guess. Oh, look, dried starfish. Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate to the museum. Excellent. I guess we'll make a stop by Gunther's on our way then. First, though... Oh! Willy! Ahoy! Come in, make yourself at home. <laughs> Aye, that's good stuff there. The fish go crazy for it. Just, uh, make sure to wash your hands good after dipping them in those juices. The aroma's been known to linger for up to seven weeks, miss. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. Not gonna stick my hands in there, then. So, you've been catching a lot of fish? Look at his little heart! <laughs> Aha! Lady after me own heart. You can always count on a lady who fishes. Oh, thanks. That's what me old puppy used to say, at least. <laughs> well, keep it going. If you can catch every fish in these waters, I've got a special prize waiting for you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What's wrong? Everything okay? You seem concerned. I well lately. It all started about the same time that old community center fell to ruin. The fish just don't sell like they used to. I've been working double time just to make ends meet. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Willie. No time for me on projects. But if things pick back up around here, I might have the time to show you something. <laughs> yep. She's back there. An old friend that's seen better days. Ooh. There's a boat over the door, so... That, that is my immediate thought. Someday, miss, you'll see what I mean. Woo! I rather want to know. I'm curious, sir. But first, I would like to sell you all of this lovely forge that I found. Woo! Look at that! <laughs> uh, small fish tank. I wonder if you can then put any fish in it that you want? That'd be really cool. Alright, so fiberglass rod. Ooh. No, fiberglass rod I already have. What am I saying? It's the next one up the... There's like an iridium rod or something that's going to be there. Now, crab pot, 1,500. Oh, you know what? I think I have the supplies to make that now. Because I have the uh, iron bar trans transmutation recipe. Uh, bait or trout soup. Now, if I were going to spend the day fishing, which I have to admit is super tempting, but I'm not going to. I'm going to resist because I need to go kill some crabs, rock crabs, in the uh, mines. I would probably buy some of that and go fishing. But, at the moment, that's all I needed. Thank you, sir. I'm going to quickly, quickly, quickly run to the museum. Yes, I'm doing a slight detour because I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Like the little worms here. Oh, just clay. It's just clay. Still, it's always worth checking. You never know when you're going to find something fascinating, like my dear little dried starfish here. Oh, Penny! I'm tutoring Vincent Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Aw. Hey, Sam. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Good to see you, too. Goodbye for now. Ah, farewell. I have things to do. Off we go. Gunther! I would like to donate this little star. It's just gonna go right there. Okay. No rewards or anything, so we're gonna head straight back out the door. We'll check for any possible... Uh-huh. Algae. Lovely. Any possible pieces, bits and pieces here on our way. And now we're gonna go leave off a whole ton of stuff at the community center. A ton of old stuff. One for the craft room, two for the craft room, one for the pantry, and three for the fish tank. So let's go ahead and drop off 
a red mushroom. A... Oops. Common mushroom. And... A yam. Lovely. Now, we're gonna swing over to the lake fish bundle. I believe all three of these are lake fish, but we'll take a look. Here we go. Bullhead carp. Or bullhead largemouth bass and carp. So all I'm missing is the sturgeon, and it will be a while before I manage to catch a sturgeon. Let me tell you what. Um, they are tricky. I will be in need of a very good fishing rod and a very good um, lure. Or bobber, I guess. Very good bobber. And some very good luck. Because uh, they are slippery creatures. Oh. Ah! Hey, Sebastian! I did see a frog. You were right about the good luck. I did not bring my sword. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, I went, oh, I'm gonna put this in my inventory. I'm not gonna worry about it, because obviously I'll go do those things later, and... <sighs> folks, folks. I should know better. I should. I really should by now know better than to simply decide that I want that single inventory space back when I know that it always comes back to bite me. <sighs> hey, Linus. Have you come to ridicule me? I'm just minding my own business. No, I didn't. Okay, I know I need this receipts, but here, be friends with me. This is a great gift. Thank you. Good. I want you to not be afraid that I'm going to come ridicule you. Ridicule you. I want you to know that I will, in fact, never ridicule you. Uh, and of course, our generosity has repaid itself by providing us with another grape. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Alright, so, let's leave off the grape. And then, we're also going to leave off... I don't really need the trident. For what I'm doing today, the insect head will be sufficient. But we are gonna scoot things around a little bit. Okay. Now, back to the mine we go. Quickly, quickly, quickly! I'd like to get all four of them today if I can. Rock crabs can be a little tricky because you don't necessarily run into as many of them as you do uh, slimes, and they're obvious. <laughs> they're not nearly as obvious as uh, slimes and insects and other things that can that, that uh, stand out quite well in the mines. Uh, you either they either move and you can see them, or you have to very carefully check under each rock for um, kind of a shadow of legs. And I still miss them a good portion of the time. Uh, let's start here. I'm just gonna kind of cheat. Do a run through and everywhere see a rock that could possibly be a crab. I'll just swing my sword at it. Way down. Aha! There's a one! Of course, I will always continue to contribute to. Oh! I gotta get that out of the way first. Ooh! And we got a crab! For that crab. Lovely. Thank <laughs> you. 
I haven't missed the stairs. Oh, no, I already got it. I already got the stairs. Alright, uh, some sap. Let's see, none of these. us all afternoon to do that. Um, but we have until the end of day tomorrow to talk to Demetrius, so that is excellent. Alright, up we go. Uh, it's 11.30. I don't really have time to do much else. So let's... Oh, your pickaxe isn't strong enough to break this net. Oh, I thought it was. Never mind. Oh, let's see, we've got amethyst, some sap, a geode, quartz, lots of copper, a couple of coal, a crab, that's excellent. Always nice to have. We've already turned in a crab for the crab pot though, so. Crab pot bundle. So I'm not going to worry about that, we're just going to zip on home. And we'll come by tomorrow and see Demetrius. meaning to bring a couple of torches with me. I might... Somebody showed me a... Uh, not somebody. Somebody told Avak a bit of a cheat uh, inside his house to put torches behind potted plants. And they just have this lovely glow. You get beautiful ambient lighting and it's wonderful. And uh, I kind of want to know if it does a similar thing where I place my... We will find out. Oof. Okay. That, uh... This may be the, uh, hint that says we need to start, uh... Or need to construct another chest. But for now... We are going to go in. We already said hello to the Squire Julian. And head to bed. Oh, lever level five farming today. Excellent. So we've got rancher where you've got animal products worth twenty percent more, or tiller where crops are worth ten percent more. The forest farm, while it works really well for animals, there's still a good deal of crop space. Um, the rancher one is nice. Tiller though takes us, I believe, on the artisan path, which is really where I want to be. Um, rancher is nice because you can it increases the the cost of the animal products. And then also allows you to, I think, befriend your animals a little bit faster. But uh, although they may have made some adjustments to make them both uh, a little bit more lucrative. However, I am going to go with Tiller for the moment. Woo! I wonder if the effect hit today. I eh, don't think so. 31 and 37 were what our uh, wheat were prior to this. 
So, summer spangles, the hot peppers, the sunflowers. Beautiful. So, a good deal of money from our farm today. 1400 Well done. Summer is a good uh, money-making season as far as crops go. Uh, our copper axe is ready and our journal's been updated. Raising animals. We got 100 gold because our coop is created. Uh, we do need to talk to Demetrius today. Uh, shorts and the mine. So before you... Okay. Let's go ahead and check the weather for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the luau. I forgot the luau is tomorrow, which means that today is Mara's birthday. Ah, <laughs> we need to take her a gift. The event will take place on the beach starting between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Don't be late. We will try not to. All right, uh, next, fortune teller. Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits feel neutral today, the day is in your hands. All right. And the Queen of Sauce rerun. Greetings. Let's see what the rerun is. Baked fish, which we, of course, learned earlier this week. Off we go. Oh, we've got our first crop of tomatoes. Dear Song Breeze, tomorrow we are all gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Mayor Lewis. Okay, so uh, in past uh, runs of this that I've done, the uh, contrib your contribution to the luau simply has to be the highest quality thing you can get, because the higher the quality of the item you contribute, um, the higher the points you get. And you get a little bit of friendship from everyone, I believe, by participating in the luau and bringing something good. So, we're gonna try. We well, we'll see if our um, axe works. It's not a big deal right now because we don't have any animals in the coop. But let's go ahead and get our crops watered first thing. Starting from the bottom here actually makes a bit more sense because then I'm going the right direction. could scoot the bee house over one, and then I would no longer have that issue. But I don't want to do that until my first um, crop of honey is ready to harvest, because I believe when you remove it and drop it back down, drop, or you have to pickaxe the building up, I believe it loses whatever progress it has made uh, as far as creating the uh, next crop of honey. So we want to make sure we don't interrupt that. I don't screw up. I can make it through three quarters of the watering, no trouble. My issue is I screw up fairly frequently. can goes away, as does the pine tar. Let's see... We're gonna put our tomatoes in. <laughs> An extra spice berry. Actually, we're gonna keep that out, because you know what I'm gonna do next. Is a crop of summer seeds. Oh, hey, we got an achievement! What is that achievement, then? DIY craft 15 different items. Lovely. Go ahead and sell the gold and silver star tomatoes. Because again, we really don't care as far as uh, gold star items go for summer. Uh, we do need our summer crops. I kind of am waiting. Uh, it's, I believe, pepper, blueberry, tomato, and watermelon. Let's see if my memory serves. Pepper, blueberry, tomato, and watermelon. Or just melon, I guess. So as soon as our melons and blueberries come up, we can go ahead and finish off that bundle. But for the moment, 
Uh, so Mara's birthday, and we need to go see Demetrius. Luckily, both of them should be in the same direction, although... I think Tuesdays and Thursdays she works at the doctor's office. So let's see if she likes the strawberry. I feel like she did before. But gosh, if I remember. Oh, we did want to do one quick thing, actually. Uh, before we have animals, and while we've got a ton of grass grown, I'm actually going to come in here. And you know how we filled up our silo full of hay? I'm now going to take it all out. Because someone showed me a long time ago a very handy little trick. Oh my gosh. It's only 240, I think, per silo. The hopper is empty. Yep, there we are. I am going to put the hay down so that whenever I do get chicks, I don't have to remember to go feed them. Um, but what I'm going to do is actually go get a little bit of wood. I see a little bit. I'm just going to grab the wood. Because I kind of want a chest for up here and a chest for elsewhere. So, we're going to put an extra chest there. Because I'm running low on space. And then we're going to come in here. And we're going to drop a chest right there. And we're just going to plop the hay in it. And I'll get the hay out of my other uh, box at some point and drop it in there. But Because the silo only holds 240. But if as long as you don't have the auto feeder, you can pull that hay out of the silo. And then it stacks 999 per slot in a chest. So I can... Uh, kind of build up a good stash of hay by continually scything and removing the hay from the silo and stashing it in a chest while I still am using the not top quality, um, not highest level um, barns and coops. Let's just take a big swath of this, because uh, we've got a ton of grass right now. It has been growing beautifully, and if it's this filled in, it actually doesn't propagate that much, because there's no spaces for it to fill. It kind of slowly grows outward at a much slower rate than it would grow if you had some spaces in between the grass. Alright, that should have given us a good chunk of hay in the silo. Let's go take a look. Yeah, we uh, filled up the half of it in just one run. Okay, up we go to see Demetrius and to give Maru her strawberry for her birthday. The trees up here are starting to come back. Slowly but surely. Always in the same spot. Uh, luckily, on these, they just repopulate on exactly where you picked them up. Hey, have a nice walk. Hey, Maru, are you enjoying the season? I am. It's been so warm this year. Would you like a birthday gift? A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Oh, look, we got a three heart rating with Maru. Excellent. Hey, Robin. Hey there, Sombries. I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry projects. Are you doing okay at your place? How's the woodwork in your cottage holding up? Uh, pretty good thus far. I will be very excited when I have enough money to uh, purchase the home expansion and get a kitchen from you, but for the moment, I am surviving just fine in my cozy little farmer's house. Let's see if we can spot Demetrius out here somewhere. I'll go say hi to Linus first. Hi, Linus! be wary of strangers. Most people don't like a wild man. Well, you're not terribly wild. <laughs> uh, no Demetrius. I wonder if he is down in town somewhere? Sometimes he hangs out by the community center for a little while. Sorry, I'm just 
checking to see if there's any forage. No dice. Um, so around and around and around we go. Where we stop, no one knows. Um, Check in the house once more just to make sure he didn't sneak past us while we were over on the other side. Oh, hey Sebastian! Sebastian! Hi! <laughs> it might be funny to put something disgusting in the potluck soup tomorrow. Just don't poison anyone. Why ruin the potluck? Hmm. I guess some people feel liberated when the rigid structures of society break down a little. Maybe I'm weird. Eh, no. Let's see where you're coming from, man. I mean, I'm not gonna do it. Because that seems cruel. But, uh... Because I'm still kind of working my way into the community's heart here. I want everyone to like me before I start screwing things up too badly. Hey, Demetrius. Hey, I see you culled the rock crab population a bit. They've been multiplying quicker than normal due to human activity in the caves, so I'm hoping our efforts prevent them from threatening any other species. The local wildlife thanks you for what you did today, Songbreeze. Enjoy your reward. Aw, oh, thanks, man. You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? Ah, uh, quite a few. Maybe I'll stop by your place someday and check it out. You should! You should, you should! Hi, Carolyn. Hi there. Do you have everything you need for the farm? I believe I do. If not, we might be able to help you out. We carry a variety of useful items. Ah, uh, thank you. Hey, Harvey. Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. Then make sure to wash your hands. Thank you for the advice, sir. We are all experts at hand washing these days. Evelyn! The good mayor put me in charge of the town's public gardens. I've been working on the town flower beds for months, so don't step on them. I promise I will not do that. Hi, Pam. If you want to play a cruel joke on my little baby girl, give her pina colada. She might not forgive you, though. Pina colada? I... What? Since when do we have pina colada? Oh! You know what? Oh, no, that's coconut. I, I don't know. I didn't know we could make pina coladas. <laughs> well, I won't give her pina colada. I wouldn't give her anything alcoholic, because I have a feeling she is not a fan of alcohol. Hey, Sam. I don't have work tomorrow. I've never been so happy. Oh, <laughs> big smile. <laughs> hey, Alex. Hey, farm girl. I've got a question for you. Do you think I'll ever turn pro? Let's see. I can say, you're destined to be a sports legend. Or maybe, if you practice a lot. Or, no, you'll most likely fail and become a salesman. Now, don't get me wrong. He said a couple of things that might make me mirrored spirit enough to say this, but no. I will say maybe if you practice a lot. I don't want to crush a young man's dreams. Yeah, well, I'm so good, I'm not going to have to practice all that much. Uh, I don't think that's how that works, my dear. But, alright. You do you. I think you are wrong. Oh. Oh, blast and bedevil it. I forgot to go pick up my axe. I was so involved in remembering to go get my money from Demetrius that I forgot to go get my axe. That's alright. I do not need it urgently for anything. I just would like to have it. We have some wood we want to chop. And I want to see if it now allows me to chop down some of the bushes on the place. Oh! Leah! Hello! I came for the sound of the ocean. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely is. Oh, same, same message. It is a very wild and soothing sound. As someone who has only gotten to see the ocean a few times in my life, um, I am always enthralled by it. Willy! Some fish come and go with the seasons, others only come out at night or in the rain. I will try my best to learn which ones do what, sir. But we'll see. And hey, we found some bubbles. Let's see if we have any luck. Couldn't quite keep the perfect and get the chest, unfortunately. 
That's all right, though. We got a flounder and oh, six iron ore. Oh, that's the best news I've had in a very long time. And some trash. And some seaweed. <laughs> At least it grabs it quickly so I can just go back into the water right away. And some Georgia Cola. <laughs> Alright, I take it this is not going to be a fishing kind of day. Yeah, no. I, I can take a hint. I mean, I had to take several... It's going to be taking several hints, but... Uh, we'll go ahead and disappear now. Let's see, it's 7.40. I do still have time, so I went up through the mountains. Uh, I probably have time to go down. Oops, sorry, Leah. Didn't mean to run into you. Oh, Abigail. Hey. Everyone's excited for the luau tomorrow. Maybe a little nervous, too, considering the governor will be here. Huh. Hopefully, he has only nice things to say about our little community. Oh. And some more broken glasses. Actually, my inventory is not so full. I could just leave those in. Bit late for thinking that, but you know. I have enough time though to do a bit of a loop, uh, southwards, a southwards loop. See if any uh, forageables pop out at me. Oh, Whoop. probably could have left that one to my loop around past Arad Island, but uh, that was close enough. It's not quite set up so that you can do a perfect circle, which is a bit... Or a, a, you can do it completely without backtracking, so you kind of have to do a bit of a wowie <laughs> into the divider between the river and the lake there. Oh, there we are. Before you run up the other side, or else you do miss some of the areas you could be checking. There's a good deal of forage down here, to be honest. That's rather unexpected, but nice. I appreciate it. Thank you for the forageables. They make good seeds and or money. And or energy. And at ten seeds for one of each of the forageables, that's actually pretty good return on your... Um, forage, so I probably should be doing that more often with my forageables. But I will keep some. They occasionally make good gifts. Sweet peas particularly seem fairly popular with the lovely folks of, Stur of Pelican Town. Alright, we're going to do just a little... Sideways jog. Through here. Oh, nothing quite yet. Any tree seeds that pop out? Any forageables that make themselves visible? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Well then, let's go ahead and drop a few things off. The flounder, the sea urchin, the mussel the oyster, the gold and silver star sweet peas, and pretty much everything else can live either here or here. Uh, I am going to, however, grab... I'm going to leave the consumables and grab all the things for planting. Also, I want to grab my hay. all of these in there. Leave the Jojo Cola here, because I mean technically it is a consumable, yes. Maybe a junky one, but it is consumable and does give you a tiny bit of energy. You can't do it when you've got it full. 
the trick that I had forgotten is that you have to leave at least one space empty on the um, in the feed trough. All right, to bed, to bed. She said. She said. About a thousand gold total today from our farming, our foraging, and our fishing. The three F's that seem to do the best for us. Um, two gold and two silver tomatoes. Uh, sea urchin and some sweet peas to get us just about just under 450 gold there. 250 for a flounder, silver star flounder, gold star mussel, and two regular oysters. Okay, drops us off just over a thousand gold. And here we are at day 11 of summer. It is... The day for the luau, and that is also the end of the episode. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you all next time.